everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to quarter three we are half well more at this point more than halfway through the year still plenty of summer to enjoy so some of these clothes are how i am going to relish the rest of the summertime i'm going to go through items i added to my wardrobe this quarter items that i added to the wish list some of which i then added to my wardrobe and item, items that have just been added to the wish list but i have not yet gotten so there are plenty of items still on the original wish list, and I will link the wish list playlist down below, or at least the first video, so that you can see what the full wish list was. But yeah, it's changed a little bit. I've realized that I need some new like casual clothes, and I need some more summer clothes and shoes and bags and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we'll quickly go over the just two items that I have added to the wish list, but have not yet gotten. I added a bunch of things actually right at the end of the last quarter, like the beginning of this quarter, and then I, I bought them. So I'm excited to show you them. But the two things that I have not yet gotten are a white bag. I sold my old Ferragamo white Miss Vera bag. The size wasn't working for me. I need something a little larger, like a larger crossbody. I like the idea of a white bag for work, but I don't tend to carry a bag as like a work bag during the summer. So I think a crossbody would be helpful. There's multiple outfits in here that I really think would work best with, with a white bag. So I have pretty much decided that the one that I think I want, and maybe this will change, but is the um, bio-based leather, the Bioterra leather from Senrev in the Cadence bag. I think that creamy white colored bag is the one for me, hopefully. Um, so we will see if I add that to my collection, but that's the one I'm thinking of right now. And again, I may find something else and totally change my mind, but that's that's the plan at this, mo at this moment. The next thing that I've realized that I want is another light colored blazer. So I have that beige blazer from Saint and Sophia that I've worn a bunch of times, but I'd like something that is a little less beige, a little more white. And that's like a, it's a cotton, but it's a big, heavy, thick cotton, which is great for the fall and the spring. And I even wore it in the winter, I think. But I want something light, like maybe linen. Linen always makes me nervous with the wrinkles, but I want it to be like a casual blazer that I can wear in the summer. So I think maybe a white linen is where we'll go. We'll see. Yeah, I think maybe a white linen or maybe even a beige linen, like maybe beige would be a little better than white. I haven't decided yet, but some kind of light colored and light weight fabric blazer. Okay, so now for items that were on my wish list already that you already knew that I had that I bought. And then I'll tell you about the ones that I added to my wish list and bought. So um, I've been really looking for sandals. Just a quick update, I went shopping in New York City a couple weeks ago and I popped into the Rothy's store and you'll see some Rothy's items, but they only had one sandal, like real sandal. They have a summer shoe, which I did buy and I will show you, but they only had like a bubble slide, like big thick strap, you know, slide sandal. That's not my thing. I was really hoping for something else like this shoe like a kind of more dainty feminine slide. Doesn't seem like that's coming. They seem to think that only the bubble slide is coming. And that has not yet been released online. So I'm sure that that will be soon, but if it hasn't been released yet and it's already this far into the season, I can't imagine that they'll release another sandal afterwards. The other summer shoe that they did release are these. They're they're really a nice, like breathable. I know some people think, I, I have never found any of my Rothy's to not be breathable or to cause odor or anything like that, but I know that is a concern for some people and some people have had that happen. So this is a much more breathable design. It's a square toe, so it's a little more modern. And then it has these little loops and so you can add straps. I, you can also take them away, which I don't tend to like a tie up kind of ankle, tie around your ankle shoe. So I haven't worn them with that. I just kind of worn them as little slides. I like the cream color. I went for my typical Rothy's size, which I should not have done. These are a six and a half and I probably should have exchanged them for a six, but I got too excited to wear them and I didn't. And so, um, I've been wearing them with arch supports actually on top of this in here and they fit okay 
in the summer your feet get swollen so uh, like by the end of the day they're fitting more comfortably and I, maybe something smaller wouldn't have worked but if I didn't want to have the extra arch supports on top of this I definitely could have gone for a smaller size so your actual regular size rather than your Rothy size or maybe a half size down from your Rothy size are what I would suggest I find them to be pretty comfortable but not like ridiculously comfortable um and I, but I think part of the reason for that is the incorrect sizing the square toe is a little bit wider and more comfortable than the point so if that's been your concern with getting the point then this may work as a nice alternative because it is almost like an almond square toe it, it isn't like the round it doesn't look like a ballerina flat so I like it. I do find that the the holes are actually to me a little less comfortable than just the, the plain fabric across, but it is nice to have that extra breathability in the summertime. You can probably tell mine are absolutely filthy. <laughs> I've been wearing them just to play in the backyard with my daughter a ton, and so they're really dirty, but that is why I only wanna buy white shoes basically, um, or like casual white shoes from Rothy's because I'm just gonna put these in the washing machine. And I've already done that once and they've come back looking brand new. So I appreciate the functionality and the washability of them as well. The other sandal that I added, I think I may have shown you all in a previous video, but I haven't actually officially shown you. So these are the Sarah Flint Marjana wedge. The Marjana sandal didn't work out for me, but the wedge is a lot more comfortable. I just didn't like the, um, like the kind of, I didn't find it as comfortable on the ball of my foot. But now that the weight is distributed in a different place, these are great. These are the taller one they do have a shorter wedge. I can't remember exactly what the height is. I wanna say it's a 70, I wanna say it's a 70, but it doesn't even feel that tall because like the pitch of your foot, because it has this at the front, it feels shorter. I will say though that in general, I feel taller in this shoe like than I do in a typical heel because it is further off the ground. I feel a little, it's a wedge, so I feel stable in that way but something that's open and taller to me always feels like a little less stable. So I have noticed that about it. Um, I also went for my typical size in this. This is a 36, which is what most of my Sarah Flint shoes are. Um, I could have even potentially done a 35 and a half. Like it, it leans more on the larger side than the smaller side to me, but like it's a comfortable size. And then um, it has great arch support. Of course, it's like a, it's almost like a perfect style in that way. It's a wide toe box. It's got nice arch support. I do need to add a few more holes, I think, because my ankle is a little too thin for it. And I find that it moves a little too much on my ankle. So once I add those holes, I think that will take care of it, but something to keep in mind if you also have skinny ankles. So one of the other items that was on my wish list was patterned pants these maybe count <laughs> that's still very much on the wish list because I'm thinking about more like a like a plaid or patterned like work trouser these are just a super casual summer trouser from known supply I really like known supply pants I like the breathable cotton I like that they're fair trade I love everything about the company it has a little pocket in the back it, the, it's like their classic design I have these in other pants as well it's a flat front but then it is an elasticated back so they're super comfortable they work really nicely for curves okay <laughs> I really like these but I have one little gripe with them and I can't be the only person with that striped pants are difficult in the crotch region I just think that they always look a little funny in the crotch like the it would look weird if it was just blue and they didn't continue the pattern, but there's something about this that's like, hello, this is my pubic triangle, <laughs> this triangle that you've created. Like maybe if it just went like flat, but then like you wouldn't want like a line, like a landing strip either. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't feel like it's a problem on the back at all. It just, the front, always feel, am I the only one here? <laughs> Please let me know if you have also had that trouble. I have discounted this type of pattern pant multiple times in the past, or I've gotten them and then sold them because of that. 
And maybe that will happen with this, but I do find them so comfortable and I do wear them. But I just, I, like, I don't think that there is a perfect solution to this. But maybe if the pattern was like moved over, it would be better. I don't know. Let me know if I'm alone here. <laughs> Completely flip the weather script. I also have been looking for sweaters. That's been on my wish list. It makes sense. My wish list was started in January and I realized my lack of sweaters, but also like summer is the best time to buy sweaters, you know, like <laughs> they're pretty discounted. So um, these were all bought secondhand and I'm going to show you them. The first is, I believe from Marine Layer. Let me see if I'm making that up. Nope, not making it up. So the first is from Marine Layer. It's this long black and white turtleneck, this marled pattern. I think that this is gonna be something I wear a lot. It's a little longer in the back than the front. It's cotton, they're all cotton. I can't wear wool anymore. It's just my skin can't handle it. So these are all cotton and I like them so far. Next is, I think another marine, they may not like all be marine layer. Yeah, it is another marine layer, really long, almost like tunic sweater. I just want something I can pop over leggings and have comfortable and be red and cozy and large. So this I bought in a larger size just to make it that oversized comfy sweater vibe. I think I pretty much bought most. I bought most of these from ThreadUp and some from Poshmark. This little white um, is from Woven, a white gray, gray turtleneck is from Woven. And I actually bought this in a previous uh, quarter, but I haven't worn it yet. And I don't know if I remember to show it to you. So it feels new to me, even though it's technically not. Is this really large, I think they call it like a fisherman's sweater, cable knit sweater. This is from United by Blue. I really like their sweaters as well. I will probably buy this in a smaller size, but I found it for just so inexpensive that I thought, you know what, let me get it, make sure I actually like the sweater and like the oversized look before I spend more on a smaller one. And we'll see, I, I'm probably gonna wear this one and then see what size I would want it in. And then last up for items that you knew were on my wish list, which are dresses. I'm still looking for some more summer dresses, formal dresses. I don't have like any formal dresses anymore. So uh, dresses that can span multiple occasions. So I got this, these are both from Mata Traders, which is actually the dress I'm wearing as well is from them. Um, I don't usually do like a limey green. It's like a mint limey green. I think it reads mostly blue, but I like it. It's not like the best coloring on me, granted, but I like the dress. It has these cute buttons on the side, also fair trade, also made out of cotton. And then this one is from Mata Traders as well. I thought it was so sweet and feminine. It has this cute little hemline. I, I really like this dress. It's a little tight for me um, right under the armpit. So I think I'm going to take it to the tailor and see if she can, um, you know, cut this open and sew it down so it's a, a little a little lower. And I think that'll make it more comfortable because it has an elastic waist, so it's comfortable that way. But I just think these little details are so sweet. I don't usually like polka dots and technically these are more like almost like floral, but they're they're subtle enough on here. And I think that the the trim is so pretty that and the and the buttons are as well that it doesn't read polka dot as much to me as other things do. So I am definitely still looking for more dresses. I also want to quickly say just because these are just the only other things that I bought. Um, I bought some things from Dye, which is one of my favorite brands from the UK. And I just want them to come up with a pop up shop in New York because they've come out with so many things that it's just it's really expensive shipping and it's expensive return shipping. And like I, I'm just too nervous to buy pants, basically. But they have like pants and suits and things that I love. So I bought these shirts in their sale and they're called like the, I think they're called the gather up top. It just has this nice detailing. They're just really good shells for work. It's like, it has a little button and keyhole on the back and then it has these in this nice like pleating detail. Um, but I got those and then I just picked up at Pact in the city, this t-shirt. I want more colorful t-shirts. What is this color? like? It's like pink purple, but there's, this is a shade. It's not lilac. It's not like, what shade is this? Somebody let me know. Um, it is fine. It's again, not the perfect coloring on me, but I like it. It'll get the job done this summer. I just need something, you know, casual. It is organic cotton and it's not, it's not a terrible color on me. It's just not like a perfect one. 
those are shirts. Okay, so now for things that I added to my wish list and then bought. So the things that I added to my wish list, and one of them may have been on there before, which was jumpsuits. Um, I I did sell the old jumpsuit that I had, and I said I probably would replace it. I found the perfect jumpsuit. I'm going to show you that next. The other thing was sneakers. So again, white colored. These are Rothy's. Um, I've already scuffed them up. I hit the stroller on them yesterday. Like I like skid the stroller into them. Again, they go in the wash, super easy. Um, these are the new bright white Rothy sneakers. I'm either gonna do a review just on each of these shoes individually or do a comparison. So let me know which you'd prefer. They just came out in this slightly new design and slightly new sizing. They used to be in whole sizes only. These are half size. I bought my typical Rothy size and like the summer shoe, a half size down would have probably been okay. My toe goes to like right here. So there's not a ton more room, but my heel slips out a little bit in them. I, I find them comfortable. Anyway, I'm, I'll do a whole review on them. Let me know what you want to see about that. And then these are the Allbirds Tree Dashers 2.0. So I had the original ones and they developed a hole in them, which is a whole other story and I'll explain. And so I needed some new sneakers. These have been really comfortable right from the get-go. These are the 2.0. I'm going to do a comparison of the 1.0 and the 2.0 of these, the tree dashers. But if I should also do that in comparison to the Rothy's or separately, please let me know. The last thing that I added was my Mick jumpsuit. This looks like a giant mess <laughs> when it's not on. Here's a picture of it on. I have also done videos on it. I have discount codes for actually a number of these things. So I will leave those down below. But I love this jumpsuit. I'm already wearing it a ton and I'm really considering adding the navy. So that's another one that is potentially on my wish list. We'll see if I do. But yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm wearing this at least once a week. I'm pretty much living in it this summer. So I love it. So that is it for my quarter two update. I hope to add some new things into quarter three. Please do let me know which item was your favorite or if there's anything you're interested in or if you have suggestions for the things that I've added to my wish list. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Hope you are enjoying this weather, relishing in the summer, <laughs> and I will see you in a future video. Bye.